Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Trina Vega. Welcome back to another video. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. So I just wanted to let you know if you're new, uh, I live near to the busy road. Uh, so welcome to the family. You gotta get used to this. Yes, guys. Uh, so, welcome back to another Girl Talk video, guys. Uh, so, I actually took a break from the Girl Talk videos. One reason because I have not been feeling like I'm getting a connection with you guys. Uh, so, I actually stopped making the video for a while on Wednesdays. So, uh, if you're not if you're not familiar with the Girl Talk videos, I make them on Wednesdays at 8:30 p.m. So guys, uh, stay tuned for that. Subscribe, turn the post notification bell on, and uh, stay tuned for the Girl Talk videos. Also from the title, you already know what I'm about to talk about. I'm just gonna give you a brief breakdown if you're still not sure what this video is gonna be about. So basically, today I will be helping you guys or giving you tips and ways how to deal with uh, depression and stress. I for one can attest to this because I have been through depression. I know what stress is like. Stress is a way, it's one thing that causes depression because in order for you to be depressed, you're gonna feel stressed. Like, it's a whole stage level. Like, it's a whole thing. I don't know. Anyways, so I wrote them, uh, wrote my tips down. I wrote down some ways to, you know, help. Uh, so one thing most persons are familiar with um, when dealing with depression They know that they uh, visit your doctor and you know, they get prescribed with a medication and all of that However, I leave that for the last option because sometimes Medication does not help in things like these like sometimes it's actually You have to fix something within you or yourself like something about you like I don't know how to explain it but I'm gonna get into it uh, ju just wanna you know let it kind of soak in <laughs> okay here we go so when dealing with depression and stress I believe for the first step you should take time out for yourself because sometimes you know you have everything that's going on around you got work you have this you have that to you know get out of the way, you have this to accomplish, you have all of them things there. You don't get time for yourself, you don't get time to right, take a breath, just clear your mind. Just say, this, is, this time is just for me to go and do something that I want, you know? Depression and stress is caused by so many things, guys. Like, the simplest thing can cause you to be stressed, like, simplest thing. Somebody just nagging you, like, there are certain things that some people just cannot handle. Like it's just that old fact about life, about people. There are just some things that they just can't can't handle that some people may and you know, there's so many things that I can't even even mention right now. But yeah, taking time out for yourself, you know, getting a breather. You know, to just clear your mind, to just do something that you want, something that you enjoy doing, you know, just taking that time out for yourself does help to reduce stress and depression. The next step I would suggest is meditation. Meditation helps so much, like, you just meditating on something positive because if you're, you know, let me just stop for a while okay so meditation does help guys um, when meditating you're supposed to be meditating on something positive something that makes you happy you know something that will uplift you something that inspires you something that just you know is a all good thing to you something that you love it could be something even crazy you know guys have people with different tastes and all them something yeah so Meditating on things. Like I said, stress is caused by so many things. <laughs> yeah, I am stressed by the noises, guys, like literally. But 
Here we go. Yeah, so like I was saying, it could be something crazy. We have so many different tastes. Like people have different things that they prefer to meditate on. Like me, I would prefer to meditate on something that I'd want to do in the future. Like something I'd want to you know, accomplish. You have some people that would prefer to meditate on a show that they love watching or uh, a Bible verse. It could be anything. Like meditation is like a whole different thing. It's like it all depends on what you prefer to meditate on like the whole point of meditating in this case is to you know free your mind like relax your mind like to just forget everything that is happening about you around you anything that is making you stressed the whole point of you um, even being in depression sometimes you don't even know why you're depressed like sometimes it's a whole fact like sometimes you don't even know what is wrong with you like i have been in that position so i know about that but there are ways to get out of it so don't worry you're gonna get through it just take your time step at a time one step at a time one step at a time you know you got this you're a g you got this okay uh so the next step for uh releasing this here you just need to breathe just take one moment like right now just take one breath like just breathe like sometimes you just need to breathe like to just let go like literally you just need to just say you know what for now I'm gonna just stop I'm gonna breathe I'm gonna let this go This may be something I can't manage right now. This may be something that is just out of my control. I'm just I'm not sure what it is in your case. But for now, let me breathe because in at the end of the day, guys, literally, it's gonna affect you in the end. And I'm sure you don't want that end result, that effect that it would have on you. So taking a time out to breathe does help a lot it helps so much to just stop for a moment stop doing the work stop thinking about that stop thinking about what is stressing you stop thinking about the schoolwork for a moment like we all know that it's a pandemic you know and everybody's wondering how am i going to get this done like it's not the way i want it to be you know because you know not everybody can learn the virtual way you know some persons prefer to be at school some persons you know they are better off at school yeah so just breathe forget it at the end of the day you're here the stress is there but you're here and you need to you know I'm gonna just cut you off for a minute I'm gonna just all right school work whatever it is i'm gonna just put you down right here for a minute or a couple hours a day or so or maybe a year it's possible you know to just breathe like this is for me yeah we all know that we got things to do it's life like but at the end of the day do you really want to be in this position like so depressed so stressed do you think that's that is healthy for you to be stressing so much about this one thing or it maybe it's multiple things that you want it could be something that you just really want to accomplish and you just wonder like where how how it's gonna happen just like a whole thing that you're just wondering about like what <laughs> What should I do? What's the next step? Like, I'm so confused right now. Stop thinking about it for a minute. Just stop. Just stop. Breathe. My greatest suggestion in that moment that you take to breathe, I suggest you make one prayer. It doesn't really matter. it doesn't have to be one prayer because you know there's no limit to prayers not one time 
like a loyal say to you, I'm tired of you. Like he wants you to be to be doing that. He wants you to be praying to him. He wants to know that you are, you know, captivated by him. You know, knowing that he is there to help you in everything. He wants to know that you know that you can rely on him despite of anything that is happening in your life. So my greatest suggestion is to pray. And not just praying, but praying and have hope, have faith. Knowing that God is going to take you take you through whatever it is. Like there's nothing he can't do. He is a miracle working God, even in the greatest situation that no one even thinks that you know can be done he can get it done he's the creator of this world like there's nothing he can't do yeah and there are times where depression may be caused by something that's happening in your life and you know you're blaming God like why did this happen and why did that happen sometimes yes I know that you have questions you know you're wondering like why did this have to happen to me like why me why do I have to go through this and say one thing to you right now God knows what he's doing it's very sad it's very bad yes I know but trust God he knows a lot more than you know and everything that he does is for a reason it's for the best of your interest He's not going to do anything that's going to cause you to, you know, fumble or break. It may be hard. No, it may be hard. It's hard now, but it's all a process. It's going to build you. He's building you to be stronger for something greater. Something, you know, it could be even something that's going to happen in the future that you don't even know that's going to be even more bad, you know? And it just like, build you for us to be more prepared or... It's just something that I've, I've known that I've happened already. I've experienced it in my life, personally. God has brought me through so many things. So many things that I can't even talk about right now. Because this video is not even going to be finished in time, like literally. There's so many things. And he has so many reasons. Like, just trust him. That's all I am saying. Trust God. Yeah, so moving on to the next step, guys. Uh, so exercising. Exercising does help a lot. Like, exercising helps you to take your mind off what is happening around you for a minute. Like, that moment that you take to exercise, you're just, you're just focusing on, you know, building yourself. Like, you know, making your muscles build. Or, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. But exercising does help with how your body feels it makes you feel a lot more better trust me so um, taking a time to exercise does help and eating healthy does help as well the food that you take in plays a lot of rules on you like sometimes it could be that you're sick and you don't even know you know sometimes it's just something that you just don't know I, I just, I'm just saying guys, I'm not sure about all of that because, you know, we're not to know about all of the scientific things and all of them someday, yeah. So I'm just, you know, trying to make sense from me, you know. So the next step guys, listening to soothing, positive music. Music plays a big role in our lives, like, we all love, we all love music. Like, I don't know anybody that doesn't love music. And whether or not you believe it, if you choose to listen to a negative song, something that makes you feel sad, a heartbroken song, like, say for instance, Keisha Cole, like, we all know Keisha Cole sings a lot of, um, you know, sad songs. She, she sings soul songs, and you know, some of the times, you know, it's like, it's about, you know, a guy breaking her heart or about something like that. It could be, like I said, your depression could be, ca could be caused by so many things. It could be a heartbreak, you know? So if you choose to listen to Keisha Cole's broken hearted songs, then you're not going to get over it. You're going to feel more drawn into the whole situation. You're going to feel a lot more sad. Like, 
that's how you're gonna feel like so if you choose to listen to songs that are related to your situation or even worse that is not an uplifting song to help you get out of it then you're gonna be stuck in that situation so the songs that you listen to does play a big role and we all know that persons gravitate to songs a lot more <laughs> than you think like me living in Jamaica, a lot of people sing about one song and all them something. Shoot up boy and cut shoot and all of them something. You see? And these guys like they listen to listen to the songs and them actually behave just like all the song. Say like them behave just like the song. I'm like, really? People are so influenced by music. So if you choose to listen to a negative song, then my friend whether or not you believe you are going to be mentally drawn it's something that it's not i don't know how to explain it's like a more mentally spiritually drawn connection to the song with your situation it's kind of hard for you to break from it if you choose to listen to that song and meditate on that song because that song is going to be in your head thinking about it and you know you know you're just thinking on your situation and you're just oh my god i'm not getting it. i know the feeling I know because I have done it so everything that I'm saying to you guys I have done all of this so don't feel like so me try to make them feel no way because I personally have done it and I had to correct myself somebody had to correct me so that I could uh, decide you know a better way to get out of all of the depression all of the feeling I've been having yeah um, surround yourself with positive influencing people people that is you know uplifting people that are like they they're not about no negative vibe you know you just want to hang around your friends you know i mix one of negativity you don't want to be around persons that are uplifting like persons that help you take your mind off your situation you know it could be you know you hang out with your friends and how long you your friend I'm going to be a friend, man. You want to take your mind off of the situation. It does help. Taking yourself out, you know, just forgetting what is happening for a moment or so. You know, when you surround yourself by positive people, you know, persons that are with the same intention as you to just, you know, evolve, get better, that's a good thing. That those are people that you want to be around. If anybody in your your group are reminding you of everything that you're going through, like you have a friend and they just keep reminding you, just tell them to stop. And if you realize that they still do it, then that person is not a good friend. Or whosoever, whatever relationship you have with that person. If they keep reminding you of all the past, everything that you're going through, and they're not trying to help you, you know, get out. And that person is not seeking out for the, your best interests, sadly to say. So, surround yourself with good people, positive people, persons that want to evolve themselves. If you have no friends, that's okay. Just keep focus on getting yourself where you need to be. Focus on things that are making you feel better. If you don't know how, I will try my very best to make our next video for you guys if you are requesting that video how to just, you know, stay positive, just keep pushing, you know. I'll make a next video on that so that, you know, you can just keep going. Like, you're strong, you can do this. Yeah, you can. Okay, so guys, the last, the last suggestion, like I mentioned in the first, that is my last suggestion. If none of this helps you, then I do request that you visit your doctor for a checkup, for, you know, questioning. Tell the doctor exactly what you're feeling, exactly what is going on. So that you can get a medication for, the, for it, because sometimes it is a very serious situation where you need medication to you know get out of it we all know that you know stress will cause your pressure to go up 
So you're gonna get pressure pills and all of them stuff. So my last suggestion is visit your doc, visit your doctor, and you know let them know what's going on. And without a doubt, I know that you will get through this. So please keep a positive, positive, you know, vibe. Keep a positive emotion. Everything about you just all positive. Just keep happy. Doing things that you love, it doesn't really matter what it is, as long as what you're doing is not against God's commandments. I personally am not going to tell nobody to go and do things that are against His word because I, for one, lives up to His word. So I'm not going to tell you to go and, you know, go to the party and do that with the boy and all of them stuffs. <laughs> no, I'm not going to influence you to do none of that. Living up to God's word is how I get through everything. So I suggest you to get to know God more. You know? I'm still in the process and I'm getting there, I believe that I am. So I know that you can do it too. And not to worry guys, you're gonna get through it. So if this is a situation that you really, really, you just head I say, you just want help, I really do hope that this video helps you like like literally y'all see me if you watch my previous videos like literally yeah y'all know i'm a goofy girl like i'm a crazy head girl <laughs> oh so guys i really do hope that this video was a inspiring one a, a positive one for you a one that was good for you something that made you smile in some ways laugh even you know I just really want to just put smiles on people's face when they come to my channel. They want, I want them to feel uplifted. I want them to feel inspired. And again, I really do hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, please stay tuned for the Girl Talk videos on Wednesdays at 8.30 p.m. So, please do remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I'm on a roll to 400 subscribers, guys. Uh, so, please do subscribe. And turn your post notification bells on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, uh, give me your video suggestions, leave your topics down below. If you don't want to, uh, you know, make your topics be known in the comments, you can DM me on Instagram at Trina underscore underscore Vega. Again, thank you for tuning in. I love you guys. Uh, thank you again. Bye.